Hey there, I'm Clay back with another Red Tech and we're looking at Komodo's UI. It's brand new and we're gonna talk about the things you need to know. The main screen here gives you an overview of your image and settings. The top bar has current media remaining, calibration indicators for temperature and exposure, time code, gen lock and sync, and you can see if your 3D LUT is applied and ensure the camera's health status is good here next to the setting lock icon. Speaking of which, you can lock and unlock your settings by pressing both the up and down arrows at the same time. Finally, we have the Wi-Fi and power display. If you tap the top bar, you can get detailed information and these take you into deeper menus a lot quicker. Here is the image area. You have stoplights to tell you if you're clipping shadows or highlights. The histogram area doubles as time code and basic clip readout when you tap. Audio meters are accessible and this record button goes. You can touch the stoplights for tools and the audio meter for audio menus. At the bottom, we find exposure settings like frame rate, shutter speed, and white balance, which can be adjusted with a tab. Okay, when it comes to the menu structure, I'm gonna keep it pretty brief because it's actually spelled out for you in the language you're choosing. Starting at the top, image slash LUT is where you would set color space or make CDL adjustments, as well as apply LUTs. Project Settings gives access to resolution, base frame rate, and recording medium, ProRes or R3D. Plus, you set your quality settings here. You can also access pre-record here, and now, if you have it enabled, all you have to do is hold down on the record button to disable it. Audio and timecode is pretty self-explanatory. Enable your on-camera mic here. Monitoring lets you set preferences for the top screen, SDI out, and live stream. Plus, you have tools and guides. Media allows for formatting or ejecting cards. Presets is an awesome feature where you can save and import settings commonly used or switch between scenarios. Autofocus is a great new feature. Check out our RedTech about Komodo's lens mount for more about that. Communication is where you enable Wi-Fi and dial in your settings. System settings gets you to fan control as well as other settings like shutter display mode if you prefer timing to shutter angle set your language in this portion of the menu. And finally, we have maintenance. This is the place to perform firmware updates and sensor calibrations. It's also where you'd save a log if anything goes awry. You can escape the menu anytime you want by hitting red. Obviously, you have playback as well, and this is where you access list mode right here. All right, that should get you going in Komodo's UI. You should check out our other red techs if you want to learn more about Komodo. Like, post, and subscribe, and keep creating.